Cause it's you who gives me strength Nothing is impossible Ang biyaya ng Diyos ay sumaating lahat. Welcome po sa Sunday Worship Celebration ng Christ Church Ortigas. Kinagagalak ko po kayong makasama. At um, sa araw na ito, ating pong ipagpapatuloy ang ating pinag-uusapan patungkol sa ating Panginoon at ang uh, pangalan ng Diyos at ang ating um, theme for the month, The Great I Am. At um, sa mga susunod pang mga weeks, alam natin, lalo natin makikilala ang Panginoon. Gano'ng kahalaga ito? Mahalaga uh, na makilala natin ang ating Diyos sa pamamagitan ng Kanyang mga pangalan. Dahil ito ay nagbibigay sa atin ng kalaliman pagdating sa ating pananampalataya. You see, these titles is um, actually, uh, titles are given by the Bible so that we uh, know, will know Him. Uh, deeply and dearly. Uh, ito ay uh, uh, nagpapahiwating kung sino nga ba siya at uh, ano nga ba yung, yung uh, kanyang uh, attributes at character ng Diyos. Actually, nung nagsimula tayo, we've talked about the three primary names of God which is Elohim, Adonai, at uh, Yahweh or Jehovah. And um, also, we've talked about the uh, L compound names, yung EL, which is God. Um, at uh, na pag-usapan natin doon ang patungkol sa sa mga names na El Roy, El Shaddai, uh, El Elyon. Uh, panoorin nyo po yun, nasa ating uh, website po yun. And today, we will continue on uh, about this um, uh, Old Testament name, Yahweh, Jehovah. And this is compound names that attributed to the word Yahweh, Jehovah, or Jehovah. Handa na ba kayo? At uh, tayo po ay uh, manalangin. Dakilang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Salamat po dahil uh, kayo ang aming Diyos. At kayo ang uh, nagbibigay ng lakas at buhay. Kayo lamang at wala ng iba. Salamat po sa araw na ito. Salamat po dahil patuloy nyo kaming sinasamahan at hindi nyo kami pinababayaan. Kayo lamang ang aming sasambahin. At sa araw na ito, Lord, hawakan nyo po kami bilang inyong mga anak upang sa ganun, kayo na aming ama ay makilala namin sa pamamagitan ng pag-aaral ng inyong salita. Ito po ang aming samot na langin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. Before I start, I will uh, I will give a background about this um, Jehovah um, or Yahweh uh, names. Um, ito ay nakalagay sa Old Testaments at uh, uh, sa pamamagitan nito, makikilala natin ang ating Diyos. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, names and uh, hopefully matapos natin yung tatlo sa uh, I think it's a uh, uh, walo or sham na na pangalan at um, sa araw na ito na ko rin sabihin sa inyo at um, galing po ako sa uh, quarantine at uh, uh, praise God nakakatayo tayo ngayon dahil um, ito ang uh, 
time na kung saan na um, kahapon yung last ko, last day ko at nakakatayo tayo ngayon which is uh, alam mo um ito ay uh, napapanahon you know why because there is this healer uh, there is this, this healer ang pangalan niya he is the Jehovah Rapha yeah. the Jehovah Rapha the Lord that heals amen ba doon <laughs> Kapag uh, binabasa ko yung, yung uh, patungkol sa uh, katagang Jehovah Rapha, ako ay nananalig sa Panginoon na siya nga ang Diyos na nanggagamot at, uh, nag, at siya ay nagpapagaling. Ibig ko sabihin, nagpapagaling. Um, God revealed Himself as one who can heal the most incredible situation. the most horrible disease in both Old Testament and the New Testament times. And since He never changes, those promises are still good today. Alam niyo ba yun? Na ito ay promise niya. If you have your Bibles with you, I would like you to open it in Exodus chapter 15. Um, this is about the uh, waters of Mara. and Elim. Ito yung uh, dumating ang uh, sila Moses at nung ininom nila yung ano, yung tubig doon ay um, um, mapait yung yung tubig. At um, nung ano, nung time na yon, nagreklamo na naman ang mga ano, mga tao. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila lalo na nung ginawang matamis yung tubig. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon doon sa verse 26. Sabi niya, He said, If you listen carefully to the voice of the Lord, your God, and do what is right in His eyes, if you pay attention to His commands and keep all His decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. I am Jehovah Rapha. I am Jehovah Rapha. Imagine that. Alam niyo, there are a number of times na pinakita ng Panginoon kung paano siya nagpapagaling. Uh, ang isa sa time na yon, nung uh, time na si Moses at ang Israelites ay uh, dinayo ng mga ng mga uh, has at uh, uh, lahat ng tutuklawin ay nagkakasakit. Yung iba nga ay namamatay dahil sa poison ng uh, has. Maraming namatay. At um, si Moses ay gumawa ng, uh, ng bronze serpent. Uh, kaya nga makikita nyo yung, yung mga medical field ngayon. Merong ano eh, merong ahas. Yun ang significant nito doon sa Numbers chapter 21. At lahat ng tumingin doon uh, sa cross na merong serpent ay gumagaling. Can you imagine that? G- ganun katindi ito. At um, it depicts actually Jesus Christ when He was nailed on the cross. He is the Jehovah Rapha. The, the way I see it, He is the one who heals. At uh, alam nyo, napakagandang pag-usapan dahil ang katotohanan dito ay um, maraming sa lahat ng nakikita natin ngayon, marami sa tao ngayon. ang kailangan ng kagalingan. Alam niyo ba yon? Sabi ni Jesus mismo, no one is good. Sabi niya, why did you, why, why did you call me good ano, uh, good teacher? No one is good except God. Kaya nga, huwag kang umasa kahit na sa mga politician, huwag kang umasa sa mga yan dahil ang totoo niyan, walang sino man ang mabuti. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na ay mabuti si ganito, ay mabuti si ganyan. Walang sino man ang mabuti. Kailangan natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Kailangan mo ang kabutihan ng Diyos. That's the truth about this one. And many times, pinakita niya yung kabutihan niya. Many times, He heals people and became clean. Not only the physical um, sickness, but also the emotional sickness and the what we call spiritual sickness. Huh? Tatlong bagay yon, tatlong magkakaibang sickness yon. Ah, alam natin na ang sickness ng physical 
Kaya madali, dahil nga binigyan tayo ng medisina, inumin mo yan, gagaling ka. Yung iba naman, yung emotional sickness, medyo mahirap yon dahil uh, um, it talks about uh, what we call emotional healing. Ang spiritual sickness, ito yung mga addictions, um, kaya nga uh, makikita mo, napakaraming mga korupsyon, maraming mga ganito, maraming mga ganyan. These are evil spirits na uh, inuudyok ang mga tao na gumawa ng masama. And God, who is Jehovah Rapha, can heal all those things. Kung hindi ganon, ang katotohanan ay hindi kailanman magiging mabuti ang tao. It's supposed to be a change from within. Kaya nga kung tatanungin mo ako, sino ba yung mabuto mo? So, sabihin ko sa'yo, kailangan magbago ang bawat isa upang sa ganun yung, kinakam- yung, yung, yung ating um, kinakamit na, na uh, kapayapaan, uh, maayos na pamayanan, magandang kinabukasan, ay mangyayari nga dahil binago tayo ng Diyos. If you are a Christian, I tell you this. Ah, wag mong ilagay ang iyong uh, ang iyong trust sa tao. Ilagay mo ang iyong trust sa Panginoon. Kaya nga ang sabi ng Panginoon, Panginoong Jesus, go and make disciples. In that way, if people will be a disciple of Jesus Christ, if people will be disciples of Jesus Christ, I should say, they will change. Why? Because God will change them. Alam nyo, ang, um, ang Jehovah Rapha, pagka pinag-usapan natin, merong tinatawag na, na, uh, tin, na mga kagalingan na kung saan mula doon sa sakit and even actually death sa kamatayan. Kaya nga si Jesus ay nabayubay sa krus na matay inilibing at nabuhay muli. Dahil sa gan- upang sa ganun makita natin kung gaano katindi ang kapangyarihan niya over everything. And you know what? It has something to do with the next uh, compound name na pag-uusapan natin. He is not only the Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, but also He is the Jehovah Sabaoth. Uh, Sabaoth. The Yahweh Sabaoth. Anong ibig sabihin ng, ng uh, Yahweh Sabaoth na ito? Alam mo, He is the Lord of the host. The Lord of host. And you know what? There are a lot of uh, variations about His name. And um, itong, itong sinasabing the Lord of host first appear in 1 Samuel. Particularly in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 3. Sabi doon, now this man used to go up year by year from his city to worship and to sacrifice to the Lord of hosts at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Nophni and Phinehas, was the priest of the Lord. So, the question, what is the significance the significant about knowing our God as the Lord of the host? Ano nga ba significant na ito? Alam nyo, sabi natin Jehovah Rapha, the one who heals. Jehovah Sabaoth, the, the God of hosts, meaning He has this mighty army. Merong army ang Diyos. You know what? When we say we are sick, people are sick, it that doesn't mean that um, uh, ang, ang cause lang ng sickness na yun ay yung mga, yung mga diseases at yung mga bagay sa paligid natin. The one that causes this sickness are uh, most likely in in the realms of the spirit. Anong ibig ko sabihin? Let me expound that one. Pag sinabi natin in the realm of the spirit, marami sa mga mga sakit natin ay ini-inflict ng masasamang espirito. I don't have to to go on with details, but um, if you study what we call the uh, the demonic um, attacks of the enemy, meron siyang papasukan na door sa buhay natin at uh, doon habang pumapasok siya, nag, nag, naglalabas siya ng mga, ng mga 
uh, demonyo at yung demonyo yun, na yon ay nagkakos ng lahat ng problem sa buhay natin. And you know what? He is the Lord of the host. He is the Lord of host. That means He has this mighty army that can um, defeat this army, this demonic army. It can mean God's people. At uh, sabi sa uh, Exodus chapter 12 verse 41, at the end of the 430 years, on the very day, all the hosts of the Lord went out of the land of Egypt. It can be a human army. Diba? It can be an angelic beings in Genesis chapter 2 verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them. It can be Jesus' angelic army. Joshua chapter chapter 5 verse 15. And the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Can you imagine, dinayo si Joshua, nitong, nitong ano, um, the Lord the, the commander of the Lord's army. And one thing sa pag-aaral ng, ng tinatawag na, na uh, Bible, sinasabi nila na ang dumalaw mismo kay, kay Joshua ay si Jesus, the son of the living God. Because he is the commander of the Lord's army. Amen, Madon. So, each of these are vital and important when it comes to striving to grasp the meaning of the Lord of hosts. However, there is another vital avenue that is found an, uh, an, in understanding this name as well and is how to, this terminology was used in the ancient Near Eastern countries. Kasi, alam niyo ko, kaya, kaya mahalaga na maalaman din natin ito dahil nung panahon nila, napakaraming Diyos. Katulad din natin ngayon. Di ba? Maraming Lord ngayon. Drug Lord, uh, <laughs> gambling Lord, <laughs> hindi, hindi, hindi ganun. Nung panahon nila, maraming mga God. And there are different cycles nung time nila na, na dapat makita natin. Alam nyo, uh, pagkatinignan natin ito, kaya nga naisulat ang Book of Psalms upang sa ganun makilala natin ang tutunay na Diyos. In Psalms chapter 95 verse 3, For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In Psalm 86 verse 8, There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. Can you imagine, merong sinasabi silang gods at this particular Lord, the Lord, the Yahweh Sabaoth, the Jehovah Sabaoth, is the one true God. So, when 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 we extend that into something, we can say na, kaya pala ganun. Kaya pala na sinulat nila at kaya pala nila sinasabi na ganun dahil nag-iisa lamang ang Diyos in terms of His attributes. In Psalm 97 verse 9, For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Far above all gods. And in Psalm 135 verse 4, I know that the Lord is great and that our Lord is above all gods. As clearly showing, the God whom you and I are here to worship is truly the highest God which makes Him the God above all else. Kaya na mahalaga, na mahalaga, na maalam na, malaman natin nung panahon na nila, nung doon sa culture nila. At ang culture nila nagsasabi na marami mang Diyos tinatawag ang mga tao dahil na rin sa mga culture, ha? kultura ng Greek, kultura ng Roman, maraming silang mga tinatawag na Diyos, subalit nang iisa lamang ang Diyos. He is Yahweh Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts. In in uh, our God, in even in what we call the New Testament, sabi Colossians chapter three verse five, put to death therefore what is earthly in you: sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desires, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Diba? Idolatry. Ano pa yung mga 
yung mga minsan dinodiyos natin ngayon. Para malaman lang natin to, para makita natin kung, kung sino nga ba itong Yahweh Sabaoth na to, that is host, the army, uh, he's the commander. Alam nyo, marami tayong mga, nakakalungkot dahil maraming mga ina-idol tayo ngayon. You need to understand that hindi lang isa ang idol natin. Minsan eh, maraming nagsasabi, idol, idol, hindi. <laughs> maraming mga tao ay uh, napakaraming Diyos. And you know what? Even our family, or sometime, niisip natin, ay uh, uh, sila ang uh, dahilan kung bakit tayo nabubuhay. Oh, stop there. I want you to stop there. In Matthew 10, verses 37 to 39, itong sinasabi ng Panginoong Jesus. Whoever loves fa- father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Oh, diba? Kung uh, hindi mo mabitawan ng pamilya mo at uh, um, ito ang dahilan ng uh, iyong hindi pagsunod sa Panginoon. Therefore, you are idol in your family. Second, yung work. Diba? Yung work natin. Siyempre, paano na lang ang magagawin namin kung hindi ako mag uh, go work pero totoo niyan kinuha mo na lahat ng lahat ng mga bagay ng oras ng panahon even the resources dahil sa work mo Matthew 6 verses 19 to 21 do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal but lay up your for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where your thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there your heart will be also this is um not my uh, idea this is jesus christ talking ko ang trabaho mo ay number one at isinang tabi mo ang pananampalataya mo kay jesus malaki ang problema mo because it's called idolatry. Another thing, hobbies, entertainment. Wow. Alam mo, nang panahon ko na ako ay palaging umaakit ng mundo, lagi kong ano eh, lagi kong binibigyan ng emphasis. Umaakit ako dahil para kay Lord. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Ito ngayon, sabi sa Philippians chapter 3, verse 4 to 6, Though I myself have reason for confidence, in the flesh also if anyone else thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh i have more circumcised on the eighth day of the people of israel of the tribe of benjamin a hebrew of hebrews as to the law a pharisees as to zeal a persecutor of the church as to righteousness under the law blameless sabi dito ni ano ni paul mismo Sabi niya, kung meron akong confidence, may confidence ako sa ginagawa ako, sa church ko, sa, sa, sa ginagawa ko ngayon. Pero totoo niyan, hindi dapat ganun. Sinabi niya sa Philippians chapter 3, verse 7 to 8, sabi niya, But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For this sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. You see, Yahweh Sabaoth, or Lord of hosts, is positively the, the highest God above all other gods. Wala nang iba. He is the commander-in-chief. He is the head of the church. Kung iniisip mo na, na meron pang above sa kanya, no. The Lord's army and He is the supreme commander. Sabi doon sa, ano, sa, sa tinatawang spiritual war. 
Diba? Sabi natin, He is the Jehovah Rapha. So, merong spiritual war. Sabi sa Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 12. Finally, be strong in the Lord and the strength of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over his present, of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. That means, ang lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay natin, ito man ay nagbibigay ng, ng um, um, kahinaan sa atin. Ito ay galing sa demonyo. That's why we need the Lord of the host. The Lord of hosts is the one who can, um, who can give us that confidence to walk in this world. Siya lamang, the commander of the Lord's army. The commander of the Lord's army. The Lord of hosts is the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. And the Lord of hosts is our God, the highest God and commander-in-chief of the Lord's army. So, walang surprise na, na ito, ay, ito ay inilagay sa Bible dahil dapat siya napaniwalaan dapat siyang maitaas at tayo ay sumandal sa kanya, hindi kung kani-kanino. Lastly, I would like to talk about the, the um, word wherein itong sinasabi niya na doon sa, sa um, time ni Moses na kung saan sila ay, ano, sila ay um, lumabas sa Egypt and the Israelites have seen God at work since the plagues of Egypt. They have seen God free them from their bondage. They have seen, uh, they've been guided uh, by the cloud and the fire. They have passed through the Red Sea. They have seen that uh, God destroyed the Egyptian army. And they have seen God change bitter water into sweet water. They have seen God provide manna and quails. And they have seen water come from the rock. They have now been in the desert for maybe two months. And the most, they are in a place called Rephidim, which means rest. And they now face another problem. Sino pro ano itong problem na to? Um, the problem is this. Um, merong ibang ano, merong ibang tao doon, the Amaleks. Yeah. These are the descendants of Esau. And Esau bore in grudge in Jacob, uh, that's another uh, story. But uh, this is the first enemy to confront Israel since their redemption. So, they had been attacking um in doon sa pinakalikod. Uh, Amalek, uh, ito ay parang demonyo. Talagang nag a sila dito sa, sa mga Israelites. Moses makes several decisions without consulting God directly. So, um, nung lumaban sila, uh, he chose Joshua. And this Joshua was the first time he was mentioned. And uh, he, he was uh, um, um, binigyan ng order. He was ordered to chose um, some men to engage uh, Amalek into battle. Uh, so, pumunta doon si, si Moses doon sa, ano, alam niyo kwento na to, na tuwing itataas ni Moses ang staff ay nananalo ang, uh, ang mga Israelites at tuwing ibababa niya natatalo ang Israelites. So, dito na uh, sinabi yung word na Jehovah Nisi. For the first time, they faced the army. Uh, and God told them to do nothing and watch him at work. This time, they had to work, but God brought them to victory. So, Moses built an altar and he calls it Jehovah Nisi. Nisi. The Lord is my banner. Amen ba doon? Sabi mo ngayon, the Lord 
is my banner. Alam mo, kapag ka sinabi banner, eh, flag yun eh. At, uh, wala kang ibang dapat banner eh. Ang banner mo si Lord. Tinitingnan ko yung mga mga tao ngayon padating sa kanilang political ano, political uh, um, uh, way at uh, yung mga gusto nilang sinusuportahan nilang mga politician eh. Talagang banner na banner nila eh. But for me, the Lord is my banner. Again, again, if you want true changes in your life and in this country and in this world, you need Christ. He is our banner. He is our banner. You see, Moses flaunted the banner of Israel in front of the Amaleks. While the banner was visible, they would make progress. If it dropped, they began to lose. This is the lesson that must not be forgotten. When this place would not would remind Joshua of victory. Our victory is in the cross. We must keep returning to the cross. Keep short accounts with God. Not with people. Kaya nga, ang sabi ni Jesus, go and make disciples. Go and make disciples. If you want true changes, if you want those um, um, uh, figures, pagdating sa tinatawang ng mga mga uh, korupsyon, di ba? Kung gusto mong tumaas ang ang um, gawa ng ng Pilipinas pagdating sa COVID-19 na uh, uh, intervention, kung gusto mong kung gusto mong ayusin ang pamayanan mo, ayusin mo ang tao. Ibig sabihin nito, ipakilala mo si Jesus sa kanila. At tanggapin nila si Jesus because without that, they, there can be greater change in this world. I'm sorry to say na kahit sino pa ang maluklok, <laughs> ang dahil nyo to, kahit sino pa ang maluklok kung wala si Kristo, baliwala lahat yan. You see, Joshua would remember the way Moses was confident in his standing with God. We too have our confidence in our Jesus. Amen. Doon dapat nakikita yung tinatawag na confidence natin. Joshua would remember that sometimes they would remain still. Sometimes they have to fight, but God always brings the victory. Kung ipapakita natin ang Panginoon, there is victory. Joshua would remember that Moses needed friends to help him maintain the banner being lifted high. Kasi talagang nangangawit na siya. You see, we need people who will be our support when we grow weary. Joshua would remember that God had sworn to have war against Amalek from generation to generation. We as Christians are at war with the world. We are at war with the world, I tell you. The flesh and the devil. We are at war. Ang tanong dito, sumasang-ayon ka ba sa Panginoon? Sumasang-ayon ka ba sa ating Diyos? Na siya lamang ang solusyon sa lahat ng problema ng sangkatauhan. Kung hindi ka sumasang-ayon, malaki ang problema nga natin. Dahil paulit-ulit at paulit-ulit at paulit-ulit. Huwag mong sabihin sa akin, kahapon lang nangyari yung ano, korupsyon. No. Nangyayari, nangyayari na to, simula pa nung panahon pa ni Jesus, panahon pa nga before Jesus Christ. Even wherever you go. But the only real changes that we can achieve is the change of life. Baguhin ang buhay ng tao sa pamamagitan ni Kristo. You see, God is our Jehovah Rapha. He's the one who heals. 
if you have disease right now, if you have COVID-19 right now, tandaan mo ito. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is the one who heals. And the way He heals is that lalabanan niya ang kaaway. Dahil ang nag-inflict sa, sa tinatawag na, na uh, sickness ay ang kaaway. Lalabanan niya ito. He is the the army because he's the commander. He is Yahweh Sabaoth, Jehovah Sabaoth. And the way I see it, if we are at war, he is Jehovah Nisi. That means the Lord is our banner. Paghawakan mo ito araw-araw and you declare it every day. And let's see what happens. I tell you, I tell you, magkakaroon ng mga bagay na hindi mo akalain sa buhay mo if you declare Christ in your life. God bless you. Every time I can run, I find grace. Jesus said to his disciples, take this and eat it. For this is my body, it will be given to you. And he also said, take this and drink from it. For this is my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for everyone that sins will be forgiven. Do this as often as you remember me. We want to remember Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who died and rose again. And you know what? He is the one, the only one who, who can change our world. Shalaman. He is the only solution to the problem of humanity. The only one. And so as we have this communion, samahan niyo ako, and let us proclaim Jesus. Let us proclaim Him who deliver us from any evil and connect us to the Father and became children of the Lord Most High. Let us pray. Lord God and Heavenly Father, thank you. Because of you, we are here. Thank you for this life. Thank you for this health. Thank you, Lord, because we know that we have eternal life. Bless this emblem, dear God, and bless each and every one who are doing this communion with me. Be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's eat the bread. And together, let's drink from the cup. Once again, maraming salamat po sa inyong uh, pagsama sa amin dito sa online uh, celebration ng Christchurch Ortigas. Patuloy niyo po kami ipanalangin, sama isama niyo po kami sa panalangin ninyo. At um, nawa ay uh, matapos na nga itong COVID-19 upang sa ganun magsama-sama tayo sa tinatawag na face-to-face um, worship celebration. Um, uh, dais kong uh, magpasalamat sa lahat ng ating mga uh, mission partners. Thank you so much. It's a um, brand new year and yet you continue on in um, uh, supporting the uh, Christchurch Ortigas sa ating mga, mga leaders, ng mga small group leaders at yung mga members natin. Maraming salamat sa inyo. If you will give the your, your tithes and your offering, ang ating pong mga bank information ay nasa inyong mga screen. At uh, pagka po nagbigay kayo, please uh, um, sabihan nyo kami upang uh, maipanalangin namin kayo at uh, makilala namin kayo. If you want to be part of the mission of the Lord here in Christchurch Ortigas, do not hesitate to, to uh, inform us 
and um, we will gladly um, um, accommodate you in any way we can. Maraming salamat po. Uh, join me in prayer. Lord God and Heavenly Father, thank you. Kami po, Panginoon, ay nagpapasalamat sa araw na ito. Alam po namin na kayo ang may akda ng araw na ito. At uh, kami po, Panginoon, ay patuloy na mananalik sa inyo. Samahan niyo po ang mga taong may sakit in Jesus' name. Lord, kayo ang Jehovah Rapha, the one who heals. I speak healing para sa kanila in Jesus' name. I also uh, pray, dear God, sa mga humihingi ng himala sa inyo, Panginoon. Lord, tugunan niyo po ito. Alam ko po, Panginoon, na kayo ang Diyos na nagbibigay ng himala, Panginoon. Walang imposible sa inyo. Lord, I also pray for the church. Bless this church, dear God, Christ Church Ortigas. Be with us. Provide for us. Bless us. Layo niyo po ang bawat isa sa COVID-19 at kayo po, Panginoon, ang magtanggal ng uh, virus na ito dito sa mundo. Again, Lord, we give you all the glory and honor. Manguna po kayo sa, aming, sa buong linggo at uh, alam po namin, Panginoon, na kayo ang magbibigay ng pagpapala ng biyaya sa araw-araw. Pagpalain niyo po ang mga small groups namin, ang mga life group, dear God, ng CCO at uh, patuloy niyo po kaming samahan sa mga trainings na ginagawa namin. We believe that you are with us who can be against us. Thank you so much, O Lord. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Hi, and welcome to our service. If you're new here, you may be wondering who we are and what this church is all about. Well, the heart of the matter is this. We're a group of people doing our best to love God and love those around us. One of the ways we express this love is through worship because our God is truly amazing. He created everything, great and small, and His love for us is incredible, powerful, and completely unconditional. We also spend time looking into His Word, the Bible, and receive practical teaching to guide us along His path in our everyday lives. But it doesn't end when the service is over. Throughout the week, we gather in groups to serve, pray, reach out to our community, and sometimes just to hang out and have fun. Life is full of challenges, and none of us are perfect. But we believe that's one of the reasons God has brought us together. We're all here to help and support each other through each step of life's journey, because nobody should have to travel alone. So thanks for joining us today. No matter who you are, we want you to know you are welcome. I am aware that there are people watching this stream right now that may not know Jesus personally as their Lord and Savior. The whole reason why CCO do this live stream is that we want to give you an opportunity to come to know Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior. You know, you may never heard anybody talk about Jesus the way before, right? Like, He is my King, He is my friend, I have a relationship with Him. When the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. Saved from what? Saved from internal separation from God. Today, you can be reconciled to Him and get right with God. You may not know Him, maybe once you did, but you right now, you're not walking with Him. Well, today, today is your day. It's time to come home. I want to encourage you that this is your moment right now. If you don't know Jesus or not sure where to stand, I want you to say yes to Jesus right now in the chat box. And in faith, you will begin relationship with God today. What we want to do with you is we want to pray. We want you to invite Jesus in our heart, making Him the Lord and Savior. So I want you just to pray this prayer and repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I believe Jesus is your son and he died on the cross to take away my sin. So I ask you to forgive me all of my sin. I believe that Jesus rose from the grave to give me eternal life. Today, I step into a right relationship with you with my faith in Jesus and his completed work on the cross. 
I am now your child. So I ask you, Lord Jesus, to come into my heart, come to my life, and become my Lord, my Savior, my In best Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Thank you.